It's okay to be the Mary resting at Jesus' feet sometimes in a world full of Marthas. Hello, my sisters in Christ and my future sisters in Christ. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. And if you're new, hey girl, welcome back to my YouTube where we are all about spiritual growth and brightening our spiritual glow. Now, if you landed here on this video, I believe it is a clear sign from God for you to go ahead and subscribe so we can be connected. Be sure to like this video as well so a sister in Christ can hit the worldly algorithm. With all that being said, let's jump straight into the video. I know it's been a little while since I posted to Instagram, Facebook, or YouTube, but I needed to unplug. I needed to slow down with creating content and the hustle and pressure of being an ambassador for Christ. Social media is hands down the best tool for community outreach ministries, businesses, and overall information, but it is the devil's playground, which is why it is so important for us to get rid of FOMO and unplug. It's okay to be the Mary resting at Jesus' feet sometimes in a world full of Marthas. So in today's video, I'm getting into what God has revealed to me during my almost month away from you guys in hopes that you can take something away from it for your own life. Let's get straight into it. Number one, we aren't called to selfishly fast. We are called to actively fast. If you're going to step away from social media because you need to work on rekindling or diving deeper in your relationship with Christ, you need to actively seek Christ. Being fully transparent, I never meant to take almost a month off, but the first week, nothing changed. I still felt so distant. And that's because I wrongfully assumed that just because I stepped away from social media for God, that God was supposed to just run to me and I was going to miraculously have all the answers and come back to social media refreshed. I wasn't as intentional as I should have been and it showed. If you're going to fast from something, rather it be social media, food, whatever it is, when you actively seek God, he will actively answer you. Matthew 6, but seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things will be added to you. Don't try to seek God just for him to heal you and then you run right back to the things that were hindering you. We must seek God as a father. Just as he knows us, we need to continuously and actively get to know him. It doesn't matter how long you've been a Christian, you will never get to a point where you fully know who God is. When you think of Jesus, the Son of God, he actively took time to himself to be with the Father, and he never took that time for granted, and neither should we. Number two, your walk with God will never be constant. It will be and should be subject to change based on the different seasons of your life. You can have a scheduled routine in one season that you feel you've mastered. You wake up early, do your devotional, read your Bible, worship, and then go about your day. Or you do that same routine at night when the kids are down like me. And then one day you randomly fall into this rut where you don't do your typical routine. And you may start talking to God in your head like, I'm sorry, God, you know, I didn't spend time with you today. Or I just couldn't seem to wake up early this morning. And then you throw on some worship music. And watch a sermon or two but for some reason the next day comes and it's still the same feeling is that just me <laughs> that same blah like rut that you can't seem to shake this happened to me as well and i'm not trying to say this happened to me because of social media but it happened to me while i was still active on social media posting content i was pushing out content god had previously placed on my heart to share but this random rut, I stopped hearing God. My routine stopped hitting the way it was hitting before. And no matter how hard I tried to push through, I knew something was going to have to change because I was running out of material. All of my material is rooted on what God has placed on my heart. So if my relationship shifts, then so does my content. And I battled for a few days with getting rid of social media. I felt like, Lord, I'm working so hard for you. I'm doing everything in my power to live a life that glorifies you. Why is this happening? I just started a YouTube and Instagram and I got to leave now. 
I had this idea that I had to stay consistent in order to grow, which is partially true, but my spirit had to check me real quick. If what you are doing is made to glorify God, then there was never going to be anything you can do to grow it faster than the speed that God had already ordained for it to grow. But with that in mind, I need to step away rekindle my relationship with God. And I was watching The Chosen over that time period and they had a great saying. It says, get used to different. I realized that my rut was just God calling my attention for change, for a new way of spending time with him, which is required for the new season I'm going to embark on. Different is good. Change is good. This is an opportunity for you to dive deeper with the Lord, learn a new side of the Lord that you didn't previously know. And with doing that, you reveal a different part of yourself that you didn't want to know. Change up your routine. Instead of going to him once in the morning or once at night, go to him at all times of the day, anytime, anywhere, until both you and God agree on a routine that works best for the season that you're in or embarking on. And lastly, let go of your insecurities and love your process. Now, I'm not going to go too deep on this point because I have another video coming out right after this one. So I hope and I pray that you are subscribed so you don't miss it. But it's about the confidence and love we need to have for ourselves because we're daughters of a king. Sometimes our love and our confidence in ourselves gets lost and distorted through the lens of comparison, especially through mindless scrolling on social media. So I truly pray that you come and watch that video because I go into detail about how to change your perspective on how you need to view your body, your image, and your life through the lens of God and not through the lens of being a people pleaser or trying to be accepted by worldly people. Now, I struggle with comparison, and I know that's something that I must constantly work at because it is a weakness. Not only do I know it's a weakness, but I know the devil knows it's my weakness as well. And the same goes for you. Don't allow the devil to use your weakness against you. Take control over that weakness. You have power over that weakness. And if you need to step away from social media to remind yourself, then please do it. Please do that. God has revealed so much more to me, but for the sake of time in this video, I'm not going to drag it out any longer, but I will be sharing it in other videos. So make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss anything. I'd love to hear your social media fast testimony. So drop a comment down below so we can all encourage each other in love and in truth. I pray that this video helped a sister in Christ or encourages a future sister in Christ to reach out to me so we can chat about what it means to be a sister in Christ. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe so a sister in Christ can hit the worldly algorithm. I love you ladies and I will see you in my next video. Bye.